Okay, here we are, Millionaire's Girlfriend's Podcast, episode number 36, I believe. Um, it's your boy, Juan Sanchez. I've got my sister, Jessica, with me. Say what's up. What's up? Um, today you're going to be watching her playing Saints Row 4 while we jibber-jabber about some random-ass shit. <clears throat> so, let's get started with that. Um... Oh, you said something prior to recording that I thought was funny. I um I wanted you to talk about that. Um Oh god, what was it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The the Xbox One game cases, how they're all fucked up and backwards. Tell me how you feel about that. <laughs> what? Xbox. How the how the game is on the wrong side of the case. Yeah, I don't like it. I was saying that maybe if it, maybe if you were opening it from the other side, <clears throat> maybe if you were opening it from the other side, that it would make more sense. But so if it were like an Asian book, I do have dark meat too. But yeah, I did think it was kind of stupid too, um, especially yes, because. Sorry. Especially because the PS4 games, I think, are still on the right side. Um, I grew up with PlayStation 2 and, like, Nintendo GameCube and 360 and stuff, so, like, the game being on the right side is just, like, it's just how it should be, in my opinion. But, That's yeah. not what I meant to do. So, recently, on Red Table Talk, that fucking show that Jada drags people on to so she can fucking verbally abuse them and fucking talk down to them and act superior to them. Uh, she brought Will on the show so they could talk about, uh, you know, the ups and downs of their relationship. And I'm not going to make any entanglement jokes because I'm not creative, but yeah, I had a, I had a huge problem with that whole thing. How did that make you feel? Um, I didn't pay much attention to it, so... I didn't really care. But did you have like any like, like like me for instance? Like I don't I don't normally care about celebrity gossip, but like when I saw Jada in those video clips, like just insisting being all like, I didn't I didn't watch any video clips. I I know, but I'm just like I'm just like talking about like how I felt about it. It, it was very it's um. I don't know. Like I've always had respect for for Jada because like mm -hmm. she hasn't always been Will Smith's wife. Like she was Jada fucking Pinkett before she got married to him. Like she had her own career and her own name. I don't know how to drive in this game. God damn it. Like she had her own career and her own name prior to getting married to him. And like that like and again, I know, like, they were separated, and she thought they were done and stuff, but there's still just a part of me that is, um, there's still a part of me that's, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, again, divorce is just a piece of paper, but also maybe get that figured out before you just go fucking around on the side, because that's, that's a complicated situation. <clears throat> like, yeah. Jada straight up went and fucked someone else while they were still married. <laughs> and I just don't think people are talking about it like that. <laughs> Yikes. Oh yeah, um I think this is funny. The big heads and shit, all yeah. the fucking that giant pair of eyeballs. That my yeah. my dude's a posing. She's walking upside down or no she's not, never mind. As I said, yeah, this chick. This fucking dude in the pimp suit. Oh, she's just gliding. Who's a posing? I mean, that guy just fucking sliding along the ground right there with the mohawk. Yeah, that's exactly what that old woman was doing, too. I know, I said, I was pointing it out. Oh. Hang on, check the I time. Didn't... Check the time on the recording. Hit the X button. Hit the middle X. Okay, cool. Similar times. I'm doing good. Wait, I'm, I'm not actually going to do this rift. I'm professional. <clears throat> check me out. Checking times and stuff. <clears throat> But yeah, like the the Jada 
the Jada and Will thing I thought just was kind of funny. Like all the memes of like Will looking like he's about to cry and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I did see those. Those are pretty funny. Dustin Ross on the friend zone was like Oh, I think that's awesome. She was on she she was sitting next to her husband talking about her man. And I don't think there's anything no, I don't think there's anything even if you did have something on the side when you were separated. Like, I appreciate that Will and Jada felt comfortable enough to talk about it in the public space. Even though I'm talking a lot of shit about Jada right now. It's like, I am very glad that they felt like they could talk about it in the public space and make sense of it. And try to, and try to make sense of it. I mean, there's no way to make sense of fucking romance and stuff. Maybe I should turn the, maybe I should turn the TV down. I feel like hearing the sound from the game will help me line up the tracks and the edit later but right oh, now this it's, one throws shit back right now it's like breaking my concentration dude these riffs can be so fun though. this one's pretty easy i think it is <clears throat> i think it is an easy one So I do want to ask you, <clears throat> you just graduated high school. Yes. <coughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Hang on, I want to give a, I'll probably edit in some applause, some generic applause sound, but just in case I don't, that is a, that is a, it's not the easiest thing to accomplish. I, no, and I almost didn't do it, and if. It wasn't for like quarantine and stuff. I definitely wouldn't have been able to. But yeah, your your last year was cut short by coronavirus. You missed out on all the stuff that everybody else got to do. Well, not everybody else. I mean, there's senior a bunch of prom, senior week, senior trip. There's a senior bunch of picnic. Well, yeah, like I didn't other get generations. any of that. Tom. Yeah, no prom, no picnic, no fucking. No Six Flags trip or Block Island, like, what's what's that? Come on. Yeah. God, I can't, I keep missing these. I was looking at the stats the other day of, like, coronavirus numbers, and Rhode Island is doing pretty well of all 50 states. Like, we're in the bottom, we're in the bottom 25. Yeah. And we were, um, steady, I'm pretty sure, last time I heard. And that's the thing I want to say about Gina Raimondo is I don't like her and I never have liked her. Oh my god, there's more of them now. What the hell? But she did she did do a very good job of handling this. Uh, oh yeah, she was like masked on going anywhere for a while. Very good job of handling this COVID kerfuffle. Maybe that'll be the name of the episode, COVID kerfuffle. <laughs> 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 kerfuffle vid <laughs> and also because kind of like because of covid i decided to take a gap year because of the way things were looking that's not just because covid though there's a lot of things that were going on <coughs> yeah we're back <laughs> we had to take a break to do some stuff take care of some chores Queen's World, but that's not. You want to do it one time? What? The jingle. What is it? Queen's World, party time, excellent. Okay, let's do it. Alright, one, two, three, four. Queen's World, party time, excellent. I can't believe that was like that was one of my favorite movies right. growing up. Oh yeah, we were talking about your uh, gap year. I wanted to ask you. I wanted to say, like, pretty much. I guess this is just the only question I have. You plan on like working and like making money and shit? Yes, I do. 
What does the dog want? What do you want? What? You want to come up on the bed? Come on up. Yeah, let her up behind you. Up. Come on up. Up, 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 up. Come on. Stop <laughs> wasting time. <laughs> Do you have any idea what you want to like, 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 okay. Well, I definitely want to get another job, that's for sure. But that's pretty much it. Working, let's say, that money, you know. let's say worst case scenario, COVID is here for 10 years or whatever fucking people are saying right now. What, what are you thinking about? What does your future consist of? What do you, like, do you see yourself living a, a, a life or do you see yourself like, what do you see the world? Where do you see yourself in it? Yeah, I don't know how about, about that far ahead yet. Fair enough, you're only so. 17. <laughs> the reason I ask is because I can't even imagine what you have to look forward to. Because, like, at least, like, 10 years ago when I graduated from school, it's like the world was, like, normal or whatever. People started, like, doing things and going into their lives. Um, and I'm honestly jealous of people who do... Who do... Like, people who are able to commit to something, even if they're young, like, obviously no young person, nobody, I shouldn't say that because you're young and I want to, I don't want to generalize. I don't know, it's just like, as you grow up, man, just like, life is strange, I guess. Oh yeah, but like I was saying, it's like, I can't even imagine, like, what you have, like, what your generation has to look forward to, like... Because I don't feel like I have anything to look forward to now. Just with the world the way it is. It's like, things already were not great because boomers just don't want to get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> but like, now with the fucking virus, I really don't know what I have to look forward to. It's like, I don't know. Honestly, why even try anything? Is what it, is what it seems like. It's the only conclusion I can come up, I can come to. Now, obviously, I'm trying to be optimistic. Oh, it's right here. Oops. I'm trying to be like a little bit optimistic about the situation, but you know, it's just it's yeah. hard to be. Really yeah. hard to be. Yep, definitely. Just keep thinking of movies like Children of Men and shit. <clears throat> but do you have like a? I mean, obviously, you don't have an idea of, like, what you want to do in school. But I guess if I were to... Wow, did you see that? I got that first try. Nice. I don't want to give advice because I have led a very misguided life myself. But if I could go back in time and talk to myself and tell, like... I don't like bringing that Whoa. up. Because it's like, would you change things if you could? And the answer is, I honestly don't know. But if I could give an 18-year-old advice, I would just say, like, you have plenty of time to find out who you want to be and who you're going to be. You have plenty of time to figure out what you like. And, um, you know, for now, you should just... Yeah, that's why, that's also why I decided to take the idea. Because I, like, didn't, I had no idea what I wanted to do. At all. Like, I, mean, I was gonna go in, like, undecided. I wanna, like, I, like, basically broke down when I was applying for CCRI. And then I was, like, I was, like, I might miss the deadline and I didn't even care. So I was, like, well, that kind of says something. So I was, like, got you. Yeah, see, I kind of didn't have that option because, like, <coughs> I remember mom and dad saying, well, dad <coughs> at least saying to me that like, <coughs> if I didn't go to school, I couldn't live at home. And I was like, oh, I don't know how to support myself. I don't know. I mean, that's a, it's a whatever. It's a regular average thing. I, don't, I really, I really am kind of non plus about what parents should do when it comes to raising their kids, whether they should kick them out or not. I got lucky, you know. Oh my god, I just dropped like $300,000 in guns. My guns are not even going to get to use in the final battle. How messed up is that? I wish... I I wish there was a way for me this. to absorb the concept of like... 
what it takes to live in the world, like making money and paying bills and stuff like that. I wish there was a way I could have, somebody could have communicated that concept to me when I was 18. Instead, I didn't start to fully get a grasp on that shit till I was already like 25, 26. And even, and even now, still, I'm still not good at it all these years later. So... There's gonna be lots of dead air on this one. Yes. Sorry, I'm trying to game. No, that's fine. I get very concentrated. Shoot! <coughs> Me too. Talk more. Toast! <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of modeling this video after, um. There's this just a YouTube channel I watch called Keep It Classy. Gabriel and Aaron. Mm -hmm. They talk over gameplay uh, footage. Be... I've actually been watching Gabriel on YouTube since he did the Let's Drown Out videos with Yahtzee, Croshaw, back in like 2013, 14, 15, 16. Does that take money from you when you do it? What? That when you steal somebody else's car. I don't think so. You shouldn't. Every time I do it, it shows the... My money, my money, and it shows the red. Only it shows that. God, I'm so Who knows? Maybe it does. Oh shit! Catch a little air. But yeah, I'm a big fan of Gabriel and Aaron. Probably Hey! <laughs> Maybe one day I'll figure out the technical aspects. <clears throat> and I'll get very good at like recording audio and video. <coughs> God damn, congested as fuck. I know Nobody I have that problem all better. the fucking time. But you know what? I'm like, I don't care. No corona. You know? Because you have like a dry cough. Well, I know why I'm congested. It's because I smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> oh, well, damn it. I did not mean to do that. Statue, when got it. Oh, oh my god, there was a cop right there. Can I pickpocket him? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Give me that cash. Give me that cash. <laughs> Give me that cash. Give me Ready? that Ready? Look at him. Give, that that base. Base. Give me that bait, 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 bait. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, that was absolutely frightening. <laughs> that was terrifying. I've never seen anyone do that before in this game. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, Where are they? Wait, over there. Keep them hidden because if dad sees them, he'll be like, let me get some. You're like, Dad, you have type 75 diabetes. You have all the <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> Literally. And he's giving it to us. The last thing you should be doing. Yeah. Oh, I, man. <laughs> I jumped on the scale today. I did not like that number. I was like, oh, no. I know. Oh, no. I just realized with all the food that I've been eating in the back, I've gained like maybe five or ten pounds. I saw that and I was like, snack bin, empty. <laughs> I'm only keeping soup in there and seasonings. I don't know. Actually, I don't soup, really care. Soup, nuts, and seasonings. I got almonds and cashews and soup. I got a bunch of seasonings. I do care about the sugar, though. I do need to stop eating so much sugar. Should I play for a little bit? Mm. Okay, so... what I uh, Something I really wanted to talk to you about, actually was Me? yes would it be fair to say that you are a fan of the show community i think it's fair to say that i'm a fan and i don't normally call myself a fan of anything i don't like the word fan i don't like what it implies but community is a very good show 
<laughs> One of the only times I will ever belong to a fan base. See also Charlie XCX. Certified <laughs> Angel since 2016. I was gonna say, you're proud of that one, though. <laughs> oh, I don't, yeah, I'm not. No, there's nothing to be, yeah. there's nothing to be ashamed about. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. Charlie makes bumping music and she's sexy. Like, okay, sign me up twice. <laughs> sign me up under fucking three different names. <laughs> But yes, Community. I really like Community. I think it's one of the best shows ever made. According to some fuckhead on Twitter, Scrubs is better, but what the fuck do you know? I've never seen Scrubs. Yeah, me neither. I know, the, I know nobody... Nobody likes the last season. I know that much about it. Huh. Kind of like Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, well, they gave up trying on Game of Thrones. That's the problem with that. Bro, chips on water. Chips Ahoy are so good. <laughs> I love how you look right over to the door. You're like, oh shit. I know. I don't want dad to hear. <clears throat> Damn it! Damn, that was a dope back because roll. So I would have made that, bro. Just so you know. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that a Zinnia statue? Nope. Never mind. So, community, let's talk yeah. about it. <laughs> Yes, great show. Um, yeah, yeah, I like Dan Harmon's... I, I actually saw Rick and Morty before I ever saw Community. I had seen, like, two episodes of Community prior to actually... To it being on Netflix. Um... The, the multi-timeline episode. And the documentary episode from season three. Where Abed's making a documentary about the Dean making the commercial for Greenville. But yeah, I thought those episodes were very funny. And then when they finally landed on Netflix, when the show landed on Netflix, I was like, all right, I guess I'm watching the whole thing. All right. And I, I don't regret it. It's, it, I'm so glad. That is a very, very good yeah, show. Yeah, me either. I'm not going to lie, though. I didn't really pay attention to, like, the first season. Well. I was always, like, <clears throat> scrolling through my phone during the episodes. You know, there's a bonus feature. I don't know if it's on the Blu ray or not. I haven't looked too deeply into it yet, but I saw it on YouTube. It's like cast evaluations for season one and season two. And Dan Harmon has this bit where he's like, All right, the first episode is our highest rated episode. And it was, it never got better from there. And he said that it pretty much went that way for the whole series after that. Yeah. Like, it was never as popular as it was that first episode. And wow. I don't know where I was going with that. Oh yeah, the first season is just kind of dry, but it's setting up, it's setting up everything it's going to deconstruct and twist later on, you know? <clears throat> it sets these people up as very normal and straight up that way in season two it can start doing the weird right. stuff yeah i feel like mo most shows are like <clears throat> you know like shows on tv or like cable networks um that's how like most of them are like you take a season to like really get going adult swim is popular for that stuff yes. adult swim rick and morty connection but um like, what it will be is, like, the first season is just kind of, like, regular establishing what kind of show where it, it'll be, like, a parody of something, you know? And then the second season is when it starts to establish its own character and its own world and stuff like that. And then season three is when they start to do, like, the really weird stuff. And that's pretty much how it goes for community. Like, the first season is dry, <coughs> straightforward. Most human representations of the characters that we get or I shouldn't say most human, but like most, uh, I, I guess broad. We get the broad arch, yeah. like. I need to stop eating these cookies, goddammit. We get like the character types that they're supposed to be. Like Jeff is the handsome leading man. Abed is the, like the, uh, the wizard, the magical wizard one. Shirley's the mom of the group. Pierce is the fucking grandpa. 
Britta's the the tough talking chick who doesn't take any bullshit. I can't leave Troy out. Um Troy is the athlete. And the goofy one. I mean I guess they're all kind of goofy. Yeah, go for it. But yes, my incoherent, distracted gameplay ramblings aside, what I wanted to say was I asked you, and you said you would be interested. We decided to start a community podcast. Right. John and Jesse made a podcast. Oh, you Bye, messed it up. <laughs> We're going to have to tighten that up. That's all right. Troy and Abed didn't have their signature high five the first time they did it. They just did like a standard high five. Are we five. not doing a high five? We don't have to do a high five. I thought we were going to do it. It's just audio. No one can see us. <clears throat> yeah, but still, you'd be able to hear it. Good point. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Lip, rip his heart out. Oh yeah. Break his neck. But yeah, I don't know what the structure is going to be. I don't know how you that's going to be. I don't even know where oh I'm going to upload that to. Just... I got to figure all that out. But yeah, we're going to be doing a podcast where we talk about community. And I'm going to have to put in some actual work. Because I don't know how to structure a podcast about a TV show. Should we do like a trivia game? Trivia game? Yeah. Yes. I feel like I would suck at that though. Yeah, well, I mean, each week we would, like, alternate, like, I'd create, like, a trivia game. I'd create, like, you know, then you create a trivia game. Ooh, when we, when we do the Dungeons & Dragons episode, we can get our other sister, who's really into Dungeons & Dragons, to be on. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, it's gonna be fun. Like, even if you're not available to do it on a given week, like, I'll just still do it by myself. Oh, I thought that was a... It's not. This show must go on, you know? Oh. Fuck, they shoot up. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing a full episode about the Law & Order episode of Community. Ready? What would you like to? What would you? What would you want to do with the podcast? Like, what do you want to do? <clears throat> I mean, obviously, we're gonna keep it a secret from everyone we know because it's gonna be trash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to tell anyone about it. We won't even tell our family. <laughs> I know. I mean, I like. Well, I don't even think I told mom and dad about the freaking podcast that came out for the play. Uh huh. Uh huh. It was so bad. Like the audio, like it, like flipped out too. Like it was just not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Technology is crazy. Coming. Yeah, and you're just sitting in the middle of all of it. You're just like, whatever. Yeah. It's like, don't care. You're like, you won't die in this game. You literally like, won't die. Um, oh, this, is a, this is like Earl Sweatshirt. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, God, I hear murder bugs. Murder bugs. Why would you fucking slow down to scope something while you're getting fired on by a chain gun? Stupid, stupid, stupid bad choice. <gasps> Yay! Look what you done, brother. I hate this. Honestly? Yeah, I I mean, they can be kind of fun. I just wish that, like, they're a little bit too sporadic for me sometimes. Like, I bust its shield open, and then it just darts 700 miles to the left real quick. Unfair. Got him. How did you fuck it up so quick? Smack that fuck. Oh, 
you smack that button, boy. Oh, you're, not gonna win, you're not gonna win, you're not gonna it's win, you're not gonna win, come on! No, it's gonna win, it's no. gonna win, it's gonna win. No, you're not gonna no, get it. No, come on! He didn't like that I got him so quick. Yeah, I didn't like that you got him so quick. Down again. Alright, lay that shit down, lay that shit down. He's not gonna win this one. Lay the hammer down. Smack that ass. Fuck yeah. Oh, we're gonna have to find a way to upload this footage so that you can get it to me. You know what? I want a pair of these. I'll think about it later. I think my brain might just hurt. My brain's gonna. Shit. I got some damage. Do you remember all your information to get into your Microsoft Xbox account and stuff like that? Uh, <laughs> probably. I would hope so. Carnage, chaos. So you're just gonna attract another warden? Stress me out sometimes. Be calm. No, it isn't supposed to blow up. Trust. Surrender yourself. No, why are you blowing up? Uh, because the vehicle dropping from the air. Yeah, but. What was that dude? Was that dude just break dancing through? <laughs> No. Smack that boy. Smack that boy. Oh my god, the audio version of this podcast is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> Alright, I think after you catch but this He's playing th games with me. After you catch this thing, we should just call it a day. Got him. Destroy! Nobody does it better. All right, I think that's that for now. Uh, this has been the 36th or 35th or 37th or I don't know, somewhere in there episode of the Million X Girlfriends podcast. A super secret backdoor pilot for another awesome podcast that I'm not going to tell anyone about and that I almost kind of regret, but just because I think it's going to be garbage. <laughs> But that's all right. Once you have a bad idea, you got to commit to it, you know? Mm. I'm John. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm John, a.k.a. Juan Sanchez. This has been my sister, Jessica. Jessica, say, say what's up, say hello or goodbye or whatever. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Sometimes I wonder if Community podcast. Check it out. Greendale Dreamatorium. That's right. What a terrible, yeah. what a terrible name. <clears throat> John, John and Jesse made, made a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was embarrassing. Let's just cut it off now. Uh, yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> John said that was embarrassing. It was. All right. Ready? Three, two.